Hey everybody, this is Scott. You know, it was about a year ago that I'd put together a post on how to take dictation from your iPhone and bring it into Dragon Naturally Speaking on the PC. Now, I gotta tell you, it was a real convoluted process. You know, to record on your iPhone, to uh, transfer it uh, into Dragon, naturally speaking, to have to open up Windows on your Mac. Uh, it was a mess. So I was real excited when um, Mac Speech came out with their new product, Scribe. And um, what I like about it is, is that now you don't have to go through that whole process. And it's so much easier to get content from your iPhone transcribed into your Mac. And let me show you how it works a little bit. You know, what I like about, um, about this product is I like to use my iPhone and I love getting out of the office. I don't want to be tied to my desk. It's a nice day outside. I'm, I'm in front of a, of a nice little lake. I'm in the woods, but I can still be productive. And the way that I can be productive is by transcribing my thoughts and recording them into my iPhone. Now, you might use something like this for blog posts. You could use it for reports and memos. Um, you could use it for studying. Uh, anytime you have a book in front of you, or perhaps you're at Barnes and Noble and you're going through their books and their comfortable chairs and you get you know, some great ideas you know, out of the latest book. Well, you can speak those ideas right into your iPhone and then when you get back to your Mac, have those transcribed for you. So it's a great way to, um, to really be productive and not be tied to your desk. So let me show you how it works a little bit. Now to record into your iPhone, there are a couple of different applications you can use. Now you can use the voice recorder application that Apple provides, and that transfers your voice notes right into iTunes. And so that's a good application. Uh, there's also iTalk, which uh, is a premium uh, product, and that it just gives you a little bit more control. I happen to like Field Recorder, and what I like about Field Recorder is, is I get my level meters, and I can actually see the waveform on the application, so that tells me if I'm getting a good recording. So um, it's more of a premium product, but if you do a lot of dictation, it's well worth it. Now, you can use Mac Speech Scribe at your desktop as well. To me, that sort of defeats the purpose because I like getting out and enjoying the outdoors. But if you wanted to record something in Audacity or in GarageBand, you could do that. So no problem there. But let's go ahead and record a sample here into the iPhone. And when you're using Match when you're using Mac Speech Scribe, there is something that you need to be aware of. You're going to get much better results if you use your punctuation. And when I say punctuation, is you know at the end of a sentence, I want you to say period or put in your commas or question mark. The other ones to, to use are new line and new paragraph. And what that'll do when you're recording is it'll automatically put in the periods, all the punctuation, and create new paragraphs in your recording. So that's probably the biggest thing you have to learn when it comes to using something like Mac Speech Scribe. So with that, let's go ahead and, and do a quick recording so I can sort of show you how this works out in the field. Now, one of the things I would recommend is I don't go for my final draft on my iPhone. In fact, far from it. What I want to do is I want to get everything out of my head. I want to do basically a brain dump into my iPhone. And then back at the office, I'll transcribe it, clean it up, do some edits to it, and then get it ready for its finished form. So here, here we go. This is a test of Mac Speech Scribe, period. I love the fact I can use my iPhone outside and still be productive without having to be tied to my desk, period, new paragraph. 
There are several ways you could use Mac Speech Scribe. Colon, new line. Blog posts, new line. Articles, new line. Reports, memos, new line. Studying and new line, even at Barnes and Noble. I'll hit stop right there. But you can see what I was doing. I was adding in periods. I was adding in new paragraphs and new lines. That's the key to making Mac Speech Scribe work for you. Now, let's go back to the office and sort of see how well Mac Speech Scribe worked. Okay, so now we're back from lunch. We had a, a great productive morning outside. We were able to transcribe some information, some uh, some reports into our iPhone. So now let me get the data from here. Let's get that recording from our iPhone into our Mac and have it transcribed. And a lot of this is going to depend upon the application that you use. So for example, if you use the voice memo recorder in uh, that's built into the iPhone, your recordings will be saved in your iTunes library. I happen to like the Fire, the Field Recorder application because I get that nice waveform. So uh, I have a different way to transport that into my Mac. But as you're looking at the screen right now, what you're going to see is that Mac Speech Scribe has a very simple window. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Transcription. And I'm going to record and transcribe this file. So let's scroll down. I select it and click open and then I get this transcription window. And this is basically the window where it's going to transcribe, er, transcribe everything and then I just click the button here to transcribe. And how cool is that? What you see here is that this is exactly what I said. This is a test of Mac Speech Scribe, period. And you're going to see that I've got everything that I said here. I've got a period with a new paragraph. I come in here, I have punctuation with the colon, and then I have new lines. And you could see right here that it didn't quite catch that. So Mac, Mac Speech Scribe may not be perfect, but as you can see, it even got Barnes & Noble correct. So hats off to it. So that's really all there is to it. I would then take this and literally just copy and paste it into pages or whatever word processor I would want to use to finish out and continue building on this. So. That is a quick overview of Mac Speech Scribe. I think you can get a lot out of it, and it really does extend the usefulness of your iPhone to be able to transcribe, to make those remote recordings, and then have it transcribed right into your Mac. So hats off to them. I love this application. So in the meantime, I'm Scott Skybell. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.